Hey everybody, welcome to BL Astrology once again. Vanita Lenka welcomes you all. Please learn Vedic Astrology step by step in a very simplified manner. In the series of Ascendant, today I am moving on to the Aquarius rising, meaning thereby that when you were born, the sign rising from the eastern horizon at the time of your birth, this particular sign of Aquarius was rising. Thus, the accurate time of birth and place is so very important for an accurate horoscope. You see, the ascendant changes its degrees every few minutes. That's why even the twins can be so different from each other. The rising, the rising sign is so important as it's the image we project, the impression we make on others. It's a face, the real you, the true self. The ascendant is the foundation of the whole chart. How the rest of the signs are set, what kind of family one will have, siblings, children, education, marriage, the whole life force energy, the profession, the spiritual growth, etc., etc. Everything depends upon the Lagna rising or the sign one is born with. You see the houses are fixed like that for children is the fifth house, marriage seventh, mother fourth, profession tenth. It's for everybody the same. But how will be the life force energy of a particular person only depends upon the rising sign. And today is the turn of the Aquarius rising, the futuristic inventive and the very practical Kumbh Lagna. It's not the sun sign or the moon sign, please take, take it all. It's the rising sign at the time of birth of a child at a given location. So to start, um, uh, with uh, before we move on further, let's know how the rest of the signs are placed in an Aquarius ascendant horoscope and as to how and what is the relationship of Saturn, the Lord of Aquarius, with the rest of the sign lords through this piece of diagram that I'm presenting. So this is the Aquarius rising chart. And this is uh, um, the first house otherwise if you see it's the in the Karl Purush Kundli in the natural zodiac this is the 11th house 11th sign so this becomes the first one so it's like too much of desires this ascendant people have because it's the uh, and uh, obviously the social obligations the social circle everything depends upon the uh, house placement of this particular in the zodiac natural zodiac Karl Purush Kundli so coming to the second one, um, Jupiter. Jupiter is the lord of the second and the eleventh, the wealth giving houses. So this becomes a very important house for, uh, important uh, planet for this particular rising sign. Then um, Mars plays also a very important role as it's the lord of the third as well as the tenth. So the communication related to uh, the profession uh, or maybe a profession related to communication would be uh, can be judged from this particular placement of uh, from the placement of Mars, of course. Then coming to Venus, Venus is the Lord of the Kendra and the Trine, that is uh, the angular and the trinal house, the Kendra and the Trikona houses. So it becomes a yoga karak for this particular ascendant. So it's a Lord of the fourth and the ninth simultaneously. So it is a very very important and a very benefic. Um, one for this ascendant then trinal houses of course mercury also is a friendly sign to saturn so this also becomes a very pious uh, one for this um, ascendant so mercury as well as venus being uh, the gemini and libra for, uh, in the trine houses five and nine then moon is the lord of the sixth so and uh, sun is the lord of the seven so these become a um, uh, not the um, uh, benefic ones for uh, Saturn uh, being the owner of Aquarius. So this becomes the uh, inimical ones. And uh, this neutralizes a little bit of effect of Mercury being the Lord of the Earth. So we'll see how it works. Uh, then uh, I've told you about, then Saturn is the Lord of the 12th also. Being the Lord of the 1st, it becomes the Lord of the 12th as well. So this is how the Aquarius rising would look like. So you can just keep in mind how a particular horoscope looks for a particular rising.
then comes the deciphering of the chart that is the next step so when we are doing this then only we will come to know how exactly is the placement of rest of the planets and the uh, signs are set so why did one get now that is the main thing you know that why one got this uh, aquarius ascendant at the time of birth uh, as a rising sign you see we have to see uh, when one has utilized the energy of the opposite the descendant sign in the previous life then one desires to do what one uh, what one could not do in the past life that's how this works now here uh, we are seeing aquarius this is the aquarius rising so aquarius ascendant person must have been self centric and focused on the creative self taking care of uh, their own children and their artistic growth and far away from focusing on the human uh, humanitarian doctrines so to compensate all that all those desires towards the end of their life they wished all what they could not do to do this life and that's the reason they were born as aquarius rising saturn rules the first and the 12th house first house in aquarius imparts you uh, the originality of the character unconventional thinking and intelligent mind and a highly highly philosophical people your fashion sense uh, is original individual and very hip you are impulsive energetic and friendly always smiling people are attached towards your unconventional beauty and charm you want to want complete freedom and great deal of solitude you maintain your independence streak you may seem to be less inclined towards home and uh, family than towards your social group because it's an aquarius rising sign you know aquarius is social group so intellectual pursuits interests you and cater to humanity and as whole than the circle close home you are future oriented and seem to be a bit rebel who stick to his or her cause coming to the 12th house capricorn makes you conservative subconsciously but this trait is not apparent in your outer personality you look very modern but you're not you may also feel that no matter how much you try situations keep on arising where you find yourself restricted outwardly it might seem that responsibilities overwhelm you but you are practical responsible and focused when you are left on your own you may have constant feeling of inadequacy as if there is something missing in your life you work really very hard on your spiritual growth coming to the second house and the 11th house owner jupiter the financial houses pisces as the second house makes you least bothered about your financial matters you are naturally lucky in finances you may come up with brilliant plan plans of earning money but you need to keep a tab on your finances and be cautious when dealing with money since there are tendencies to be swindled by others you are very generous with your money and need to keep a close tab on your budget and expenditures try not to trust anyone with your money you are idealistic in speech with a tendency to exaggerate second house is speech coming to the place, placement of the 11th house uh, sagittarius that blesses you with good fortune and luck especially in the terms of social associations you have a wide range of friends and they are philosophical you love discussions and flow of ideas you usually get along well with people who enjoy your company you have big dreams which you eventually uh, want them to come true mainly because of luck you will come to uh, get those dreams fulfilled also coming to the third house mars uh, owner being mars of the 10th house also where uh, saturn debilitates that's aries which is mars rule so aquarius might have to move around a lot which you really don't enjoy you might mind moves at a fast pace and you feel the need to express yourself which you do in a forceful and aggressive way quick at decision making and always alert you are mentally restless 
you are prone to arguments and defending your ideas and may come across as short tempered you have a competitive attitude towards your siblings third house siblings also coming to the 10th house uh, scorpio gives you turbulent changes in your professional life though you are obsessed with your career ambitions and have intense drive to reach a goal uh, but it is little you know a uh, phase like turbulence is always there success is sure to come to you if you do not self destruct your career with intense emotions and destructive actions you have a strong public influence you prefer research or related work that involves solving fresh set of unsolved problems coming to the fourth house ruler venus which is also the ruler of the ninth yog karak graha for this and being the best planet for these ascendant people taurus fills you in a need for security in family life you wish for a home which is spacious and where you can connect with your with mother nature also for example uh, you want uh, the place uh, the place to relax as well as you know you want to have uh, the place where you can have fun and enjoy uh, enjoy that place also if possible you would go for an uh, enormous garden or maybe a swimming pool or a gym or a tennis court in your house you love to splurge on your family showering them with gifts and material presents as you grow older you prefer to live in a peaceful and a calm manner at home away from all the hustle and bustle with the ninth house libra when uh, where saturn exalts making this a very positive one you believe in equality fairness and harmony you believe in putting your best foot forward in social settings you are believer of higher studies and give respect to everyone's belief religion and philosophy you have a balanced opinion and solution to problems you prefer a harmonious and tasteful ambience around you you don't want any kind of uh, you know going haywire any any kind of ha- things going haywire now coming to mercury being the ruler of the 5th and the 8th house simultaneously gives a new reality to a relationship with this ascendant 5th house in gemini attracts you towards intellectual hobbies reading writing long discussions debates um, and anything related to entertainment attracts you you have an intellectual carefree and fun approach towards romance and need variety you settle down after only you know you have dated around well you will introduce your children to the intellectual way of living and they will have sharp and active mind 8th house in virgo that again ruled by mercury financial security and stability becomes very important to you especially in marriage when it comes to joint finances and investment you are very cautious and to uh, you know do look into the matter very carefully you want to do complete research to understand the background you transform yourself in an orderly way mainly because of your health you do well in occupations that need attention to close details and investigations coming to the sixth uh, ruler being um, moon cancer you uh, you care a lot for those who work under or with you you are emotionally bound to work, your work for you personal matters and life take a back seat when it comes to work to be physically and mentally fit you need to be satisfied with your work environment stability and security of your work is very important to you you are very concerned about the welfare of your subordinates now sun is the enemy of saturn as we all know with the 7th house in leo you get a partner who is powerful and dominating there could be power struggles in the relationship because each wants the other to take the lead of their married life if you have a strong self esteem